Hey there, boils and ghouls. It's your friend Taryn Tats. I'm back with another video. And, uh, yeah, just in case if anybody's wondering, like, you know, am I going to do any more 4K Blu-ray reviews? Um, yeah, I got stuff coming on the way. I just ordered uh, here not too long ago. It's, you know, I imported it, so it's going to take some time for it to get here. But I have uh, Martin from Second Side. I have that one coming in, and I can't wait to get that one and check it out. Martin is, is like... Martin and Salem was Lies, like it's between those two are my all-time favorite vampire movies ever. So I was like, I'm always kind of like fighting a battle between those two. But Martin on 4K is like, oh man, I can't wait. I can't wait to see that one and check it out. And, you know, it's like, I know people have already beat me to it video-wise, but I still, you know, it's like, it's going to be fun to talk about that one. And then, uh, yeah, next week also too, I got a couple of, um, you know, I have them, I'm waiting, you know, just uh, supposed to be coming in Tuesday or Wednesday. I have um, uh, two of them from Indicator, and Indicator is a new, well, it's, I don't know how new of a company it is, but it's like, it's new for me. It's like, I want to see, you know, like, I can't wait to check some of their 4Ks out. I want to see, like, how their packaging is and everything, see how they do in terms of, uh, you know, just, uh, you know, the picture quality, the sound quality, presentation, and everything else, so... I'm really looking forward to those two. So, so yeah, I got some stuff coming up. It's just, you know, it's coming. Just going to take a few days. So hopefully you all bear, just bear with me and uh, it'll get better. I promise. And with the upcoming months, oh yeah, I got all kinds of stuff on 4K pre-ordered. So yeah, so don't worry. There are definitely going to be more 4K reviews coming. I promise. But uh, yeah, I think you can see by the title of this video. Um, yeah, we're going to get into that in just a minute. But uh, first, I just want to show you a few qu quick little pickups that I got and uh, some just some fun stuff. So yeah, this is pretty much a haul video for the most part. Uh, picked this up for 20 bucks, and I don't know if that's a good price or bad price, but I figured usually concerned what these figures go for, I figured, yeah, I better jump on this while I got the chance. So for 20 bucks, I have Blake, Captain Blake from The Fog. The original, John Carpenter's The Fog, not that not that remake, no. I try to avoid that remake as much as possible. But, yeah, I saw that one, it was like 20 bucks, I couldn't, I just figured, I don't know, I figured, for, maybe I paid too much, I don't know, but I just figured for 20 bucks, that felt like a steal, so I just, I had to jump on that one. So, yeah, so glad to have that. Yeah, now that they put her albums out now, and they're pretty easy, easily affordable, I'm going to, I already have them on CD, but yeah, and I'm going to start upgrading to vinyl. So here we go. I got two Britney Spears albums. I have Femme Fatale. I started with the uh, ones that have my favorite songs on them first. So yeah, so this one here. And I definitely love me some Britney. So she is a goddess. Still is. But yeah. Yeah, I do. I do. Not just because of the way she looks, but you know, also too, I do love her music, but... Yeah, it's pretty simple, and there you go. The other side, so. Yeah. Still, one of the most beautiful women in the entire world, but but I love that now. I love that pretty much they put her library of albums out now on vinyl, and, you know, they're affordable, too. And uh, so, yeah, it's like, you know, both of these were twenty four ninety nine each, so, so, yeah, so happy to get these, though. So, yeah, got this one, and I got... Blackout. So yeah, starting off my like I said, I already have these on CD. I have them on my phone and stuff, but now it's time to get them in vinyl. So yeah, happy to pick these up. And like I said, I started with the I started with the two that have my favorite songs on them to begin with. So ooh la la, good lord. <laughs> So anyways, I got those. I can't wait. I ordered a, I ordered a Rob Zombie's album, The Sinister Urge, on vinyl. And uh, yeah, that's coming. Should be within the next week or so. So I'm looking forward to that one, too. That's going to be cool. Yeah, some Rob Zombie on vinyl, definitely. And then uh, real quick, just a few uh, pickups I got on Blu-ray. These are, I've already sleeved these bad boys because, yeah, I got these at my local pawn shop. They were still doing the uh, 2 for 10 or 5 for 10 buy five blu-rays you get them for 10 bucks and just the cases on these were in just terrible condition so i just like you know what i go ahead and just sleep these bad boys so this one here i had on dvd upgrading and it is it comes at night 
Uh, yeah, I watched this, and I gotta be honest, it was a little too slow paced for me. It wasn't really, didn't really jump out at me much. But you know what? It was only two dollars. I'll give it, a, I'll give it another chance at some point, and you know, just hopefully maybe I'll warm up to it. Uh, I already have. Well, I'll show this one first. This one here, I know everybody's gonna yell at me for this one, but two bucks, I couldn't beat it. We have Crimson Peak, Guillermo del Toro. Or my bungle. Anyway, but uh, I know everybody's going to be screaming at me. It's like, dude, you seriously, you bought that? It's like, you know, what about that nice, beautiful edition that Arrow put out and stuff like that? It's like, to be truthful, I was like, for, okay, this is just a placeholder because I think we all know, you know, there's not, you know, just right now, I just feel like this is okay for right now. This doesn't really feel like I need to go for that Arrow because I think we all know there's going to be a 4K of this coming, you know, anytime now. I'm, you know, I figure... Yeah, so this is just, you know, shelf hold, shelf space holder and everything else till the 4K comes around. And uh, to be truthful, honestly, yeah, I saw this movie once. I thought it was just okay. But, yeah, so I figured I can live with this $2 Blu-ray until, you know, till we get the 4K coming, which I'm sure it will be. You know, it's probably not going to be too long. So, so yeah. And uh, these here, I got, uh, I already have seasons one and two. And now I picked up season three and four of Dexter. I know there's like eight seasons, and uh, yeah, I do, you know, it's like, uh, I think uh, everybody pretty much said, kind of like after season four, pretty much the series started kind of going downhill and everything, and uh, yeah, I think, honestly, I think after John Lithgow, after his turn playing the psycho killer in season four, I think everybody was just kind of like, there's not really anywhere else you can go with it after that, so and it was like, that was kind of cool, season three, you had Jimmy Smith's being the killer and stuff, so but anyway, so yeah. And, uh, you know, you know, these are actually, these were 250 so 250 So, but anyway, so yeah, happy to get those. This here I found at a, uh, at a Goodwill for $2. I can't believe it. Anchor Bay DVD of all things. We have The Watcher in the Woods. Look at that bad boy. There's the spine. You can see that. And back there. And the inside. So yeah, happy to find that for two bucks. Now the video, uh, now time to get to what the video is really about is, uh, you know, honestly, I think I've said it before in videos that I wasn't really buying a lot of physical books, but it looks like now I'm going to be changing my tune because, oh man, uh, just, you know, so usually if I want to read a book, I have this, you know, and I have, I have a subscription to Audible. I have a, you know, over 400 books on here. I love books. I love to read. And I love reading books and stuff, but you know, pretty much I have everything on here. And um, like I said, I have a, a subscription to Audible and you know, I bought a lot of, you know, stuff on Kindle, but it was the, um, actually it has to do with this book right here that kind of got me into it. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I picked this up for $3 at one of my local bookstores. And uh, this kind of story for me is like, I'm sure you, you probably have heard the rumors and the stories going around about like these publishing companies are now hiring writers to um, they're like hiring people to rewrite books and everything to try to make them more uh, I guess PC or whatever you know and uh, I'm gonna be honest with you that idea scared me you know and so I've been putting it off for a while but I think now now is the time to start getting into it uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start buying books again and uh, just, it's just that idea, you know, it's like, I mean, a lot of the books I like to read, you know, they're, they're, uh, you know, I don't think I have to worry about, so I don't have to sit there and be such a great hurry, but I do think that, yeah, it is time to start buying some of these physical books again, because I just think that, um, I think it would just be a mistake not to do this, because, you know, now, especially, who knows what's going to happen now, like, every time we turn, like, if, if that is true, it's like, is that what, what we're going to be hearing every time you turn around? Oh, now we're going to, you know, now we're going to uh, rewrite this book. We're going to rewrite this book and everything. And I heard, like, this was one that actually they did get in there and do some rewriting on it. They revised it and everything else and putting out a new edition of it. And so I was at, you know, one of my local bookstores and I found this one. And I was like, you know what? I know this isn't the, like, very first, like, um, I know this isn't, like, the very first, like, uh, uh, you know, like, uh, first edition of this book or anything, but I figured, you know what, this is probably about close enough, 
So I was just like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to jump on this bad boy and I'm going to pick it up. And so that way that I have it and, you know, so I was like, if they do start doing this stuff, but uh, it did, it kind of lit a fire under my butt. It's like, you know, for a long time, I didn't think I was going to start buying books again, but physical books. But uh, yeah, it looks like I'm going to start doing it. So I think it'd just be better to do it. And a couple of these books here too, I'm pretty sure probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Excuse me. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to have these in physical uh, form either. So but anyway, so yeah, I got this one. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, so there you go. So yeah, start that one. This one here, two dollars. Stephen King's Cell. Nice addition. Just kind of a little bit of a there, but honestly, still not bad. Two dollars. Yeah, tiny little crease in the spine there, but yeah, that's okay. I've already read this book, so these are mostly just gonna be like to keep. So just in case if I ever need them, I got them. So there we go. We got Cell, Stephen King. We got uh, another one for two dollars. We got Horns by Joe Hill. You know, good story. The movie is actually pretty good too. I like the movie. Alexandra Aja did a good job directing it, and you know Daniel Radcliffe was pretty good in it. But, but yeah, for two dollars for Horns, I can do that one. Again, you know, like some creases down the spine, but other than that, that's not too bad. I don't know. It's like some of these are hardback, so I don't know. I may I may come across a hardback for like $3 at a Goodwill or something. It's like, you know what? I'll upgrade. You know, have a nice, you know, beautiful hardback instead of this. So. This one here, two bucks. Happy about this one. Uh, this is one I never had before, so I'm looking forward to reading this one. True Crime Solved, 27 unsolved or 27 solved cold cases that bring closure to disturbing crimes. I am a bit of a true crime buff, but I'll be honest with you, it's like my mother, she was the big true crime uh, reader in our family. It's like, I'm going to be honest with you, it's like if you had seen like her, uh, unfortunately we, we don't have them anymore, but it's like if you had seen her collection of tr her library of true crime books, your jaw would have dropped. She easily had the best uh, true crime library you've ever seen in your entire life. You know, just like, wow. It was just like, you know, it was stunning. It was impressive to see the amount of books that she had. And I got some, but not many. But anyway, so yeah, this one here too. So like, anyway, two bucks. And this one, like I said, I am looking forward to reading this one. This is going to be cool. Now we got three hardbacks. This one here. Yeah, this one here, another one, two bucks. You know, I was like, I thought this was going to be three, but I bought this at a at a good uh, Goodwill, and they were just like, nah, two bucks. That's okay. So so we got Stephen King from Abuke 8. This is probably one of the most common of his books that I see. Uh, whenever If I ever go into a Goodwill, like, this is probably the most common one of his I see, but it's like, okay, well, you know, I've already read the book and everything. It's it's okay. It's, you know, I'm going to be honest, it's not my favorite of uh, King's books, but, you know, still... I like it well enough. It is a good condition book, you know, for two dollars. You know, I really I couldn't pass on this. So, and uh, yeah, these two, uh, one I got for two bucks, the other one I got for three. But uh, yeah, these are ones that honestly I do feel like it probably would not hurt to have these in um, physical form because you know, especially with you know the uh, the controversy and everything surrounding J.K. Rowling, it's like you never know. You never know. I mean, I think right now it's safe to say these books are safe. But, um, yeah, I think you already know where I'm going with this. But just with the controversy surrounding her and everything else, like, you never know. The day could come and be like, oh, wait, guess what? The publishing companies, now they're rewriting her books, too, and everything. So I figured, you know, better go ahead and collect these in physical form. And hardback, not a bad way to go. So uh, I got Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Uh, the only bad part, though, is that Barnes & Noble's... Um, sticker on there but really good condition though so yeah and here no really nice condition like i said if it just won it'd be mint it'd be pretty much mint if it just won for that sticker on there but anyway so yeah harry potter and the sorcerer's stone hardback book and uh this one here i'm i'm pretty sure like if i just be patient i'll get the other ones you know it's like these, I, you know, these are usually very common. I see these, especially the hardback versions. These are very common. I see these at Goodwills and stuff all the time. So they're not, it's not like they're going to be that hard to get. 
So I'll have the entire series in no time, but for $3 I have Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows. There's a goal. So, here. Pretty good. You can kind of tell a little bit of coloring on the pages there. This one's a little... Uh, this one's a little old, but still, um, yeah, it's in great condition for the most part. And uh, so, yeah, happy to have it. So I got the beginning and the end, but I mean, I already know how the story, how the story goes. But, but yeah, it just you know the idea scared me. You know, just uh, and I really have to admit, I never thought I was going to be buying physical books again. I just figured though, like. If this is going to be a thing, if what I heard is true, that, yeah, they are going to start doing this whole thing of, uh, yeah, we're going to start rewriting books and, and, and you know, censoring things and, and everything else, I figure it's like, you know what, it's probably a good time to go ahead and start picking up some of these books. And, you know, so that way you have them in physical form if they do decide that they want to start, you know, editing these things and censoring them. So, but anyway, so, and it's easy to do, you know, it's like, yeah, I got them on. You know, I have them on uh, Kindle and stuff like that, and it's like, but still, that's the easiest thing in the world to do because it's digital. They can just switch it out, or they could just remove it entirely. So, so yeah. So it looks like I'm back in the. I used to buy a lot of physical books, but I just, you know, I bought into the whole shtick. It's like, well, you know, go ahead and get rid of them and just, you know, use Kindle, use Audible, you'll be fine, and everything else. But uh, yeah, now that uh, we're hearing this stuff, it's like, yeah, it looks like I'm back into buying books again. So. But anyway, so not a bad way to start. And also, too, it's like, not bad when you consider it. Okay, I got these, uh, hang on. I got these paperbacks here. You know, four paperbacks and three hardbacks. And all together, that was, let's see, eight. Uh, let's see, eight plus uh, four, 12. Okay, $15 for all these books. It's not bad. So it's a good way to start, I guess, if you're going to start getting into it. But uh, So anyway, so yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah, I wasn't really planning on doing this, but it looks like I don't really have a choice anymore. Or maybe I do, but uh, still. Uh, anyway, as somebody who loves books and loves to read, it's like, yeah, I kind of got a feeling I think I better start doing this just, just to be on the safe side. So, so that's it. So uh, if anybody took the time to watch this, I do thank you for doing it, and I appreciate you for doing it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, could you please leave it a like? And uh, if you haven't, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And uh, again, there's going to be 4K reviews coming in the next week. I I can't wait. I'm looking forward to it. And there's more stuff coming. You know, it's like this year, 4K-wise, start off pretty slow, but it looks like it's really starting to amp up. So it's like I got some good stuff coming. Got some stuff I can't wait to look forward to. So, so that's it, everybody. So uh, again, thank you for watching. Take care. Have a good night. I'll see you later.